this week's video as you can see from the title is what is in my hospital bag what is it that you need to bring to the hospital for your delivery especially here in Jamaica watching a lot of videos on YouTube is what I had to do but the problem that I saw was that most persons were like oh the hospital gives you this the hospital gives you that the hospital that is not the case here in Jamaica and so you have to prepare and bring most of the things that you will need in the hospital when you go for delivery so this is what this video is for this video is going to take you through every single thing that you need whether you're having a c-section or you're going to be having a natural birth delivery hey guys welcome 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 back to the channel i am willie wicks and on this channel we explore motherhood jamaica lifestyle and everything fun and such so if you would like to see more content like that please ensure to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends also we would love to reach 500 subscribers by october 14 so please if you have not subscribed please click that button and share with your friends. Number one thing that you need to ensure is in your hospital bag is this, this maternal record book. This book is basically your passport to delivery. It is what you will get once you are pregnant and you go to your gynecologist or you go to your clinic. This is a book that they give you to track all of the um, your visits and how well you're doing how the baby is so if it was that you have an emergency like I did having this book if you have nothing else you need to have this book in your bag so whichever doctor is you or nurse that is helping you they will know exactly what to do in the case of an emergency make sure this is in your handbag with you anything your hospital bag should be packed from or as early as about six months can be earlier or even from the moment you found out that you are pregnant because anything can happen and you have to grab that bag and rush to the hospital and you need your stuff as i said this is jamaica and everything is not provided you have to ensure that you have your stuff so you want to have night gowns right about three or so night gowns that will have probably like a zipper or buttons or it, if it's deep cut kind of you want to have it like that so you can easily breastfeed okay so you want to have at least three night gowns make sure they're comfortable loose and also they should not be like with like a lot of mesh or anything like that you, you want it to be cool but stay away from the mesh because remember you're in a hospital you're around other persons so you know probably it won't be as comfortable second thing that you want to walk with is probably a robe if your nightgown is a little bit exposing or really like that you can have a robe to just put on to go to the bathroom or if you know you have visitors or anything like that you can just put on your robe and that is okay you can bring at least one or two because probably if one messes up you'll have another one to spare by the way i know you guys are saying oh my god that shirt that you have on girl it is so nice love and positivity right so as you know if you follow me on instagram or even if you watch the first part of this video you'll see something that says a little positivity does not hurt it can't hurt nobody right that is my mantra and so I've designed these shirts, Love and Positivity, just to help to spread that around anybody who I meet. So if you do like this shirt, please hit me up. It was made by us at our store, Main Road Variety Store. Please follow us on Instagram as well. And you can always order. We also do custom designs, so let us know if you would want something to be done to spruce up your thing, okay? so moving right along you also need at least two bras right nursing bras preferably if you can get them that's better trying to stay away from bras that have like like wires 
in it because what that does it kind of compress hair your ducts in your breast and it might make you also uncomfortable so you want nursing bras which are a bit loose and so not loose like your breasts are all over <laughs> but just like they're not tight fitted or, or constraining the area and stopping blood flow to the breast because remember your breasts are going to be the main source of nutrients for your child so you want to ensure that it is free and they let down and it can let down and they get all the nutrients that they need when needed right please excuse the noise in the background i'm in the country the house is very hot and i needed to go outside and get some days so please bear with me so along with your nursing bras or your bras you need nursing pads why when you have a baby all the milk that the baby is going to need to eat and his or her nutrition is going to let down in your breast sometimes when you're not breastfeeding the the um, nipples still leak whilst breastfeeding as well once baby's on one breast sorry once the baby's on one breastfeeding the other one starts to let down as well so you want to have something there so you won't leak onto your bra and you have that wet feeling and um also it can also it has a scent if it is there for a while so you don't want that in the hospital or any at all you know it makes you uncomfortable along with nursing pads you also need maternity pads maternity pads are like very large sanitary napkins right your regular pads that you use for your period they're like three times the size why because whether or not you have a c-section or you have a natural um, birth delivery you're going to bleed right after and so and it's a lot of blood right so you need maternity pads don't get regular pads because you don't know how much you're going to bleed what you can do is get a pack of maternity pads and then regular pads after because what happens is that you, the blood gradually reduces so you can also gradually reduce the size of the pad that you're wearing over time based on the amount of blood that you're actually seeing pad that you can get they're called under pads it's like a big broad um pad um i'll put a picture i'm going to try and put a picture for everything right so you you these pads what you do you lie them on the bed because sometimes you know your pads would leak normally when you see your period you have accidents so you want to ensure that you have that as much protection as possible so you can get under pads to also lay on the bed moving right along you're going to need underwear right you need some nice underwear that come over your navel because if you have a c-section or even regular delivery right here it tends to be a little bit tense and you're in pain and there are lots of contractions that are still happening even after birth reduce contraction but there are still contractions occurring so you need a, a um um, you need underwears that are over your navel and are comfortable big bingo panty yeah you also need some towels um towels for when you're going into the shower large towels preferably again you're still you're not going to lose the belly fats as the baby comes out you're still going to have a tummy as well as it just gives you more room to have a large towel so you can have at least two large towels make sure you're writing these things down next thing you're going to need two separate slippers you want a rubber slippers remember you're at the hospital you're going to probably be sharing most persons will be sharing bathroom and shower so you want to have a rubber slippers to go into the shower preferably one that can strap around your foot like probably like a crocs or something um in that region so you don't slip and fall because you can also have the plastic not plastic the rubber slippers and be, you slide out of the slipper so you want something that can pull on the back of the of the heel um, the, onto your ankle right so you can stay steady and firm whilst in the bathroom because your balance is still gonna be off speaking from experience and I know what I'm talking about here right so 
you want to and you're in a lot of pain you want to ensure that you have something that is firm and steady whilst in the shower the next slippers is for your bedside it's going to stay dry that's what you use to walk around go visit baby or anything that you need to do you just need a dry bedside slippers additionally you're going to need a pillow and clean pillowcase you can also bring an extra sheet if you so desire you're also going to need your torches so your toilet paper toothbrush toothpaste some mouthwash if possible like a little one and Dettol or Savlon all of these you bring them in travel size because you're not going to be at the hospital very long unless you're having complications but the most you probably there is about three or four days you can have a little travel bag and put all of them in there so you can just walk with it when you're going to the bathroom and you don't have to be fumbling because again you're in pain and it gets uncomfortable you want to make things as compact as possible and easy to work with so for a baby now what you're going to need of course have at least six tops for baby because right now what baby is going to be wearing is pampas and diapers and tops right they need to be a little bit loose and not suck onto the body you can also try onesies once they're not tight you want them to be loose because remember baby has um, the umbilical cord the attachment is still on the navel and so you want to have ensure that that's getting enough air for it to dry up and heal properly so you want at least six stops that are loose fitted for baby additionally for baby you want socks if you have mittens for the hands um, also hats right Additionally, you're going to need diapers, whatever amount of, um, whatever brand you so desire. I work with Pampers and Huggies. Those are my preferred brands. If you have a brand that you like, you use it. You have a whole pack of diapers. You also want rags, baby soap. You also want a little basin for the baby to bathe in if you want. And also olive oil for the baby's skin. You want a pack of baby wipes as well along with the diapers. Additionally, you're going to need 70% alcohol, cotton balls and cotton um, earbuds, uh, Q-tips to clean the navel of the baby, the umbilical cord. Six receivers or receiving blankets or what you call swaddle blankets for baby to be wrapped up and keep warm oh also how could i forget this there is a thing called a peri bottle that i did not get to use because i ended up having a c-section but what it is it's basically like a bottle because what what happens is that it's very painful down there after birth and it's also kind of hard to reach so what a peri bottle is you would fill it with water and you basically put it down there and you squeeze and the water dispenses or, or rushes there and helps to clean the area I did not use mine at all and I have it with me so also I also have an extra pack of maternity pad so if there is any mommy out there that is going to have a baby and would like it as a gift that can be my giveaway to you guys right now um, or you know somebody who would need it because it, it is really cool and convenient it's not something that I put on the list it's just something that I had found um, whilst looking at what I need for the hospital and it seemed very convenient so if you know anybody who would want it just hit me up on Instagram at willywits in the DMs and I'll definitely zip mail it to you as well. thank you all for watching and i hope this was beneficial to you look out for my newborn must have videos postpartum must have videos and also any other motherhood tips that are there i'll also link them in the description below and at the end of this video so you can keep up with what you need to prepare you and your mind for going into labor and just help you throughout your pregnancy and motherhood journey Love you. Bye.